Okay, I had a few requests to do some mods on the Bugs 2, and I've actually got two of them now. I've got the one with the Wi-Fi, and I've got the one without the Wi-Fi, and basically to add a camera to it to get better quality than we're getting out of the actual Bugs camera. My ones seem pretty okay for what they are. I'm reasonably pleased with them, but you know, nothing beats an action camera at this level anyway. I mean, this action camera costs more than uh, the actual Bugs themselves, so it's gonna produce better quality. Can shoot in 4K and can shoot uh, 60 frames a second. I don't bother with the 60 frames a second. I've never seen a huge benefit in it, but some people seem to really think that that's the way to shoot. Uh, so if I do this mod and if it works, uh, that'll answer those questions as well. So what I'm gonna use is, surprise, surprise, a bunch of elastic bands. I'm gonna use a chopping board. I'm gonna use a piece of foam, which was just out of some packing that came. And I'm gonna use a knife to cut, that's not a knife. That's a knife. So I'm gonna use this knife to cut this up and produce something that will hopefully give us jello free 4K footage. Okay, cue the music. <laughs> Job done. There's no pride on this channel, you can tell. Um, a smile man would probably say, <laughs> a blind man would be very pleased to see that. Uh, it's actually, yeah, it looks manky and awful and everything, but what I've done is actually made something that really cushions this uh, action cam. Uh, I'm using the Yi 4K, K, you could use anything basically. And that's really given us loads of protection. But the other thing it's given us, I'm hoping, is with that amount of sort of rubberization and sort of foam around it, it's also going to give us anti jello as well, so uh, certainly going to help. Um, you don't get an awful lot of vibration off the bugs anyway, so I think it'll be fine. And I'm just going to sit that in there. I just really wanted it in so that it's completely surrounded, so any movement at all would help it. And I've just cut a little hole in the top there so I can get to the on off button. Cut a little bit of a gap in the back there so I can have a quick look to make sure it is actually recording. There we go. So I've adorned the uh, bugs with. Uh, four elastic bands either side. I'm gonna use four either side because I've got a little bit of backup if anything decides to let go, because they are elastic bands after all. And uh, if I've just used one and loop it around several times, there's a chance that it could actually let go or something could happen. So uh, I'm gonna do it with four, do it as many as you like really. Uh, you can hold it on with Velcro if you wanted, uh, but I think the elastic bands will give us uh, an extra ability uh, with actually removing the jello because you're just gonna give it a little bit of free movement for itself sort of thing. And there we go. We're done. Now we could alter the angle of the camera, obviously if you want it pointing up or down, just cut a little bit of foam out the back or just put a little wedge of foam in there and you can just tilt it wherever you like basically. So we're gonna try it on the white one first of all. The, uh, we haven't picked up GPS signals, but they're really struggling in the garden to be honest. It takes quite a while, so I'm just gonna fly it without the GPS here. We get on. You'll get smoother footage uh, without GPS on anyway. So let's just see how we go. Well, first things first, you, <laughs> no struggle with that weight, which you wouldn't expect anyway. Well, let's start the video on the actual camera on the quad one as well. And obviously it's going to drift around because it hasn't got the GPS locked on yet. And if you're doing video, you uh, just a sort of tip I use, when I want to come in for a turn, instead of doing a bank turn like that, which tilts your horizon, so if we do that, I sort of lean that way to get it right. If you turn, just literally yaw as you as you turn. So let me go. So I'm going to pitch forward and then just yaw, and you, you, your horizon will stay reasonably level. Then pretty level, which is better, I think, than sort of doing this effect of coming forward, and then you get this sort of roll sort of thing which is which is lovely and if you've got a gimbal I mean absolutely fine obviously you don't uh, don't not do it but it does help I think if you if you haven't got a gimbal you've just got anti-vibration sort of thing like this sort of thing there we go so yeah it seems to be flying absolutely fine and another little one you can do is uh, surround is quite quite this is a challenging uh, technique I always find to do a surround of you because you sort of use all your skills really to 
get it to stay on you or reasonably on you especially in a garden with blinking great trees in it <laughs> just about to trim them there there we go so as you saw there when you tilt you're going to get quite a little bit of tilt there <laughs> if you do it with your end so much better I think just personal and also slow I find slow and smooth for video it always works better Hey, lovely. We do love our bugs. And again, it's just going to bring that in without your, without rolling, hopefully. It's quite difficult to stop doing it because you're sort of used to doing it. And it does make you turn quicker, obviously. But uh, it's just the way I do it. Well, that looks pretty good to me. That seems pretty fine. Yeah, we still haven't got GPS on. Yeah, you see, you really struggle here. Hey, <laughs> distracted by a feather. So the technique, if you want to do a surround of you, is what you've got to do is, I line it up with myself, get it spot on so you know you're going to be in shot. I'd usually do it a lot further away than this, but I haven't really got that facility in the garden. Then roll very slightly, so I'm going to roll very slightly to the right and I'm going to yaw very slightly to the left. And if you try and keep the quad in line with you, you can do a really nice surround sound. A uh, surround sound. <laughs> yes, that would be good. <laughs> and this really takes everything to keep this right. But you pay a lot of money for this on, your, uh, on the big quads like Typhoon H and stuff like that. They have surround... Uh, surround a point or whatever you can actually do it without <laughs> and all I'm doing is just watching the actual quad for how much it's turning well see it's gone off now but keeping the the uh, motors in line and it can just get a really nice surround this way I do it it's all only a bit of fun isn't it? <laughs> there we go so let's just see how we get on with the fast pass, I, mean, I don't know if the footage is absolutely jello free. I'm not too worried to be honest. <laughs> if I wanted it totally jello free and everything, I would be uh, looking at uh, doing it with a gimbal. <laughs> Still not got a G <laughs> not one single satellite. <laughs> well, no, there isn't one up there, that's why. And then just land in, just be really careful. Just press the land button and then, you know, just hand catch is the way I would do it. You could rig it up, I'm sure, with um, some legs and that. That would be another way of doing it. But then I'd be looking at putting a gimbal on it and everything. So let's just keep it nice and simple. Take it off in two seconds and go out for an all blast around then come. So what do we think? Well, <laughs> the old guys wrapped a lump of foam around an action camera and held it on with some elastic bands and made a video about it. So that's, that's it in basics, but actually, yeah, it works. So I'm more than happy with it. I can shoot 4K, as you saw, and this video is actually in 1080p uh, purely because uh, I've done all the sort of studio indoor stuff and everything. And the nice thing with the action cams is if you haven't got a bugs with the uh, FPV on you can I could this one will run on Wi-Fi or I can plug in a 5.8 gigahertz FPV system into the back of it so I've got that as well so it'll work on your bugs 2 your bugs 3 your bugs 6 your bugs 8 um, basically any quad you can really sort of sling this underneath so um, uh, saying about slinging it underneath I think it's got a load of protection way more than a cage underneath now because of the foam and I like the elastic bands if it takes a front impact it's pretty much that's going to get out the way you could damage the lens um, but anywhere else it's going to hit you've got some give in the uh, elastic bands I think that's way better than strapping something hard to the actual uh, quad itself and also even velcro I think is a bit too strong so it's just the way I do it so you do it whatever way you like whatever way you're comfortable with but uh, I'm happy with the results and in five seconds I can take this off uh, and I can be back flying my bugs as it was built to be flown so happy 4k jello free flying mm -hmm.